Mark Doyle grew up on the dark, smoky feel of old films and black and white TV. And he draws musical inspiration from those memories. I wanted to do an instrumental album, and uh, I was always into uh, film noir movies, uh, detective stories, you know, horror movies. And I thought it would be really cool if somebody did a record that sort of stayed in that mood for the whole thing. The result was Guitar Noir, a CD reinterpreting the jazz themes that fit so well with the noir style. For Doyle, it became one of the signature pieces of a stellar career. Mark released Guitar Noir in 1999, and this summer marks the first time he's revisited that work in almost 15 years. Last winter, Mark decided a live performance of the piece was high on his bucket list. So he set up a couple of dates, first in May in the intimate Auburn Public Theater, and now at Jazz Fest for a much bigger outdoor crowd. He called some friends to put together a band just for this project, and he included a string section. Nobody's going to call me and say, hey, I've got this great idea. Why don't you uh, perform at Jazz Fest with strings? You know, I'm going to have to put that together myself. Doyle's been doing that for most of his life. He learned from one of Central New York's best. His dad, Bobby Doyle, was one of the area's finest piano players and arrangers. And his mom, he calls, the quintessential music wife. I always felt understood by them. I always felt supported. My mom tipped me off early in life that it was going to be an emotionally demanding life if you were going to give yourself to it. So, you know, I think I was prepared. After high school, Doyle and Joe Whiting formed a partnership that lasted off and on for years. It resulted in the band's Free Will and Juke and Bone, and a contract from RCA. As Doyle went on the road, he grew as a musician, recording with Hall & Oates, Judy Collins, and Brian Adams, and touring with Meatloaf. And as he bounced around in the music business, he saw another opening for himself as a music producer. Sometimes there were really good producers. Most of the time, it was just people that, you know, sat back and uh, collected the money and made phone calls, you know. So uh, I started to, to get the message that I could probably do that if I could find my way in. Mark found his way in during a stretch living in Boston, where he wound up working closely with acts like Maurice Starr, New Kids on the Block, Tiffany, and the Stylistics. I would like to think that I have the ability to sort of key in on the strong points of a song and then get an arrangement built around that that really highlights the, the strong points of the song. He also has the ability to key in on what the audience likes, and that should be no mystery at all to the Jazz Fest crowd. Syracuse m and Jazz Fest is coming fast. Tomorrow and Saturday evenings, catch Mark Doyle's Guitar Noir. Tomorrow night at 6.30 after Julia Goodwin and just before Big Bad Voodoo Daddy and Trombone Shorty. Free admission, $5 for parking. It's all this weekend at OCC.